I don't like to wake you guys to another one take review. This is my review of My Hero Academia episode 60. I think we got about three, possibly four episodes left for this season. This season is over with. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't checked and seen when season three is coming. But it needs to hurry up because I'm ready for it already. And this is not even over because this has been great. Uh, but let's get into this episode. Uh, we find out that. Inas, Inasa, Inasa, however you pronounce the name, uh, the wind dude, wind force, or uh, deadly wind force, I don't know. Him, Tony Roki, and Bakugo did not pass and get their provisional license, which is insane, okay? You have three of possibly the strongest and main characters of this show. I'm like Inasa going to come to play as like a big role uh, upcoming in the show. None of these guys got their provisional license. Deku passed with like a 71. It, the, and the way the provisional license thing works, it's like there's no way you can gain points. You can only lose them. So once you lose them, you just lose them. And I think the stuff that Anasa and Todoroki pulled pretty much uh, messed them up. And Bakugo, the way he acted, I'm pretty sure it messed him up. If we just, you know, that's, that's Bakugo. Uh, it was, they have a chance, of course, get, get, uh, their license, they have, in three months, they take another exam, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to judge them individually, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably get it then, but it's just crazy, that's, that, that's absolutely crazy, and you have a scene where, uh, All for One is talking to All Mike, and he's pretty much telling them about how, like, yeah, and, and, and to me, it seems, he seems like the person, like, I'm not worried, he doesn't seem worried that he's, like, captured anything he's just like hey man this is all going how i planned it to you know i have more criminals gonna come out you know what i'm saying i have uh shiga rocket who's who, who seems to be just sitting back letting stuff play out and it's gonna, gonna strike when when he feels like the iron's hot and when he needs to you know what i'm saying it, uh all for one really seems like he has everything in control and all my the only thing all my just like you know, i'm gonna stop you and i'm gonna stop shiga rocket no matter what and and it, it, it was just a good back and forth between those two. But another thing that I have to talk about is that I told y'all that nobody want to listen. And nobody, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, these, you're a genius. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you, 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 know what I'm saying? you, you really paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this is not for nothing. I told y'all it was something between Toga and Cayman. And we found out that Cayman... Uh, I mean, Toga's uh, quirk allows her to, I guess if she takes someone's blood, she's allowed to uh, transform into them. Wow, she, I, apparently we don't know what came, the real came is, and I can't wait to see how they explain that when she get back to, like, school and shit. Uh, but, like, she gonna be like, hey, I, I didn't remember doing any of this. But either way, go. Toga was came because I knew they had too many similarities. I'm like they had. I thought they was related. You know what I'm saying? But they that I'm like the similarities between those two is freaking crazy. How is she able to just do stuff like this? And 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 we see, like oh, it was Toga the entire time. Well, I'm not happy I got that right. Uh, the end of the episode. The episode ends with Bakugo calling out Deku like you know what I'm saying, and I'll ask him about his quirky. Like you got your quirk from all of my huh? It's a reason when All Might said this thing against All For One. And and Bakugo pretty much figured it all out. Like, oh, All For One can give quirks to people, apparently. Oh, yeah, you got your quirk from All Might. I get it now. And so Bakugo feels kind of played because the, him and Deku both grow up, grew up idolizing All Might. And the fact that he got overlooked for Deku to get this, to get blessed with this power this this, this the, and responsibility Bakugo feel, I guess he kind of feel like he was robbed of that, and that's what he wanted. You know, that's what he always wanted to be. He wanted to be like All oh Might, and it seems like it's laying the groundwork for Deku. So in his mind, the best way to see if, if Deku should have it is to fight him, which I don't understand. Like, what what would fight? What would that necessarily solve? Do he feel well if him fighting Deku would that make it? seem like Deku deserves the power he was given by all my I don't know but my question another question that I have is well not not necessarily a question but I want Deku to really fight Bakugou I don't want Deku to hold back I don't want him to like be like the Deku that's always looked up to him and you know what I'm saying idolized uh uh Bakugo and the, you know what I'm saying like oh my god Bakugo's awesome no I need him to look at Bakugo as a peer like I need him to go at Bakugo neck like legitimately try to beat him you know what I'm saying because this is your quirk now you know what I'm saying you can't I, I 
Like, All Might gave you this quirk. I'm pretty sure All Might wasn't just always talking about, like, yo, so-and-so gave me this quirk. No, it's your quirk now. This the same way with with Do Deku told Todoroki, like, it's your quirk, too. Like, make it your own. Like, that's why I need Deku to do it. Just forget about All Might for a sec and just, like, yo, I'm here to win. I'm here to be the best. And you have to be the best, just, just throw that friendship shit out the window. And just try to beat Bakugo because Bakugo is pissed and Bakugo wants to beat you. I think they're doing some stuff I like with Bakugo. You know what I'm saying? Developing his character a little bit more. Uh, he see, still seems to be pretty pissed off, but he's not angry, angry. Like he usually is at Deku. He just, just called him stupid or just no name. And I don't think he really doesn't enjoy the fact that Deku was somebody below him and they seemed to surpass him in a sense. So uh, you get both sides of the, you know what I'm saying, the story where like Deku. You know what I'm saying? Came up as a guy who you, you felt like something was yours and it's it right there for you. And then they who came and swooped it. You know what I'm saying? But they're two different types of people. So I'm looking forward to see what happens next. Uh, this is a, this fight too. You know what I'm saying? They fought before. They, like this is one. I hope they just go no. They just go all out. and no, I hope nobody break them up in all honesty. Uh Overall, good episode. I hate that this is about the end. I gotta see. I'm gonna. I'll let you guys know when season three is coming. Next uh, review, if you guys don't, you know, what I'm saying, look it up for yourselves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I enjoyed this episode. You guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I catch up with you guys later.